right. We are now joined by Gambit Gaming, who just made it to the finals of Masters 3. Again, we will first start with some pre-submitted questions and then open the floor for live questions. Starting with the first pre-submitted question, this one is Aaron Garst, upcomer. Valorant is discussed a lot in terms of regions. What makes a Russian Valorant player? What are the defining traits of a Russian player? Um, I think that the Russian players would like to play 50% like strategies and 15% like aim. So I guess that we have EU strategies and Turkish aim. So <laughs> that's how you can explain Russian players for, for me. Next question is from Brandon Moore, run it back, and it's for Nats. It's obvious that you've performed incredibly throughout Masters Berlin. I'd like to know what you think of your performance. Have you had one criticism or one thing you'd like to work on before champion? What is it? Actually, I'm going to do the same things. I'm just, I'm just doing my job. I'm just playing the game, and that's why I'm not doing some special things, I guess. Next one is from Diogo Santos, VLRGG, and that's for anyone on the team. Why did you take a time out while winning 8-0? Uh, we take that pause at 8-0 to zero because we need to some kind of chill because we started to um, make this game uh, end so faster that uh, then we should not do it. And uh, that's it. That's uh, well, that's the main reason that we made the pause. Next one is from Brandon Moore. Run it back. And it's also for the whole team. It's clear your game plan worked on Icebox. I'd like to know what you saw in the G2 game plan that you were able to take advantage of, or it just didn't work for them. <laughs> I guess we watched a lot of their demons on Icebox, so we were prepared for that pick, and we know how we should counter them. That was the main point. Like We make a noise here, 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 and go to another side and catch for their mistakes, pushing, and something like that. That was the point. Next one is Aaron Garst, upcomer. Where would you rank Russia among other EMEA teams? Um, having the best valor and talent. How about the world? Can you repeat the question, please? Yes, yeah, sure. Where would you rank Russia among EMEA in terms of having the best valor and talent and also among the world? Actually, it's a bit different of play style. In the EMEA, we know how the team is playing, I guess. Then we came to the here to the Berlin when we start to play against the Japanese team and other teams, and it was the demos. They have the different play style, and I guess it's a huge experience for us to play against all of them. And I guess in the champions, it's going to be much easier for us to prepare for them. But anyway, it's a good experience for us. We like it so much. All right, tossing the mic now to online live questions. Um, who wants to ask a question? First to go is Scott Robertson, .esports. Hi, everyone. Uh, my question is for anyone on the team. Um, given that you have some experience playing 100 Thieves already, um, would you rather see them again in the Grand Finals because of your familiarity with them? Or based on the previous result against them, would you rather avoid them and try your hand against Team Envy? Um, um, I think it's uh, no matter uh, with uh, someone we can meet in the finals, like uh, Wacker Fish or Envy, it uh, no, doesn't matter. About Wacker Fish, maybe I want to meet them because they're really great guys with a great exp LAN experience. So it's uh, it will be a great match to play with them. Um, so I think... Uh, <clears throat> we want to play with them not only for revenge, that, uh, but only for uh, good experience because they're really great guys. Next one is for Dustin Steiner, Esports GG. Hey guys, um, how did it feel to 13 G2 Esports, especially given that they've been very boastful on social media? Shut up, I don't have any emotions. I don't know what about <laughs> the other guy. Okay, he's, he's... okay. I will answer for his question. <laughs> uh, it was 
uh, really tough for us to play versus them. So that uh, that match was really important for us. That's why we prepared really hard for that match. And we didn't think that we can do it like that. But after four or five rounds, like, okay, let's catch the wave and just win them. That's all. Next to go is Aaron Garst, upcomer. Hey guys, congrats on the win. You know, like my other questions, I wanted to ask is that there's a lot of uh, big storylines, big mo sports movies where the Russians play the Americans and you got Ivan Drago and Rocky, you know, you got Miracle with the hockey teams. Do you guys have a f favorite sports movie and, and what, what team would you guys, would you guys compare yourselves to? Yeah. I think not anyone has that uh, favorite movies about sports, but uh, if we talk not about films, like more serials, I think The Last Dance for about uh, Michael Jordan. It's a really, it's a really great uh, serial. Uh, I watched it uh, maybe two times and uh, I'm very excited about it. Next one is for the Yoga VLR. So you guys are obviously going to want to carry today's win momentum into the grand final tomorrow. But is there anything that you guys haven't shown that you're going to want to use in the grand final to kind of surprise whoever you're you're facing? Uh, we have some secrets <laughs> that we didn't show because for different teams, we have different plans, different rounds and something like that. So... We will prepare prepare more carefully for the winners of that match, and I guess we will show all what we have. Next is Petra Romero, the click. Hello, everyone. Um, this question goes to Nat. You were seen talking with members of G two following the series. Um, can you share exactly like um what did you discuss with them following the series? Uh, I guess we didn't discuss anything. I'm just friends with them and I just was talking about everything. We didn't discuss any of the much things. Any more questions from... Okay, opening the floor now for on-site press. Anyone wants to ask a question? First to go is Tom Matheson. Uh, yes, this one is for either uh, two of the guys on the right side because they have been a bit silent so far. Um, how are you feeling about your team performance over? Obviously, Gambit has uh, looked probably the most dominant, uh, but how do you feel about the overall performance so far? <laughs> we are feeling very good. <laughs> We just go, I'm feeling thank you. Uh, I'm feeling thank you, yes. <laughs> Next one is Nine from Run Back. Hi, guys. Congratulations on the win, obviously. Uh, I want to bring it back to the dice box. Uh, so G2 Mixwell actually said that they did not expect you guys to pick ice box, and they were kind of caught off guard by that. Uh, do you think that the uh, map veto didn't quite go in favor of them, and you guys were prepared to... Um, well, go through with this veto and actually edge them out on it. Just for sure, the pick of Icebox, it was their pick, not ours. We picked a Breeze. So we thought that we can pick Icebox versus them. We just prepared it good. That's why um, I guess we fought well versus them. <laughs> Do we have any more questions from on-site press? Next is GG Record. I'd just like to elaborate on that last question, uh, more on the Breeze side of things. Um, what did you identify in Breeze to pick it for the, probably, the, I think it's the first time this tournament. Um, what, what, what was the process behind that? Uh, we thought that they will analyze our bind and ascent very good. So we thought how we can counter them and Breeze was the best choice. That's, that's simple and it works very good, I guess. Anyone else wants to ask a question? All right, that concludes the press conference for you today. Thank you, Gambit, for joining. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.